Oh, hey, man, what is up, everybody? I am so excited for the next month. We will be traveling all over the world, taking pictures of some of the most beautiful sights ever created, whether by man or by God. Are you guys ready? Come on, let's go. Today, we are in Egypt, specifically Giza, to be here at the Great Sphinx Pyramid. I am so excited. Today's mission is to capture a picture of the Sphinx Pyramid. I'm so excited. Are you? Awesome. All right, now it's time to get the shot. I've got my camera, I've got my sunscreen, so I'm protected from this crazy sun out here. So let's get the shot. Awesome, we got it, we got the shot, it's right here, take a look. Isn't that so beautiful? I'm so excited that we got the shot. It's so cool out here in Egypt, man. Not like cool, cause it's super hot, but like cool, man. It's so awesome out here, and come to think of it, it kinda makes me sad. Whoa, Noah, buddy. Oh, hey, what's up, Big Steve? Noah, man, you are at the Sphinx, bro. People dream of going there. Why are you so sad? Do you realize that people made this? This pyramid is all man-made. So many years ago, a bunch of Egyptian peoples got together and made this pyramid together. Yeah, they did. Man, I can never do something that amazing. What? Man. Why are you talking so negative? Of course you could do something incredible just like that. Big Steve, no, I can't. Would you look at this pyramid, man? It's so awesome. It probably took hundreds of people to build that, and it probably took so long, and, and I just could never do that, man. First of all, I'm not that strong. Second of all, oh my goodness, I don't think I'm that smart, bro. So I definitely could not build this pyramid. No, man, you gotta stop talking down on yourself like that. Can can I read you something? Read me something? Aren't you usually telling me stories? <laughs> yeah, I do. But I thought maybe this time I would read you something so that way you could hear it straight from the word of God. All right, man. Well, there's this guy named Jeremiah, and Jeremiah was a prophet. Oh, wow, Big Steve. That is kind of cool. So I'm going to read it out of my handy dandy Bible app. Man, you could get one of these too on your phone. They're really cool when you don't have your actual Bible with you. You could still carry around God's word. But anyway, in Jeremiah 18, verse 6, it said, he said, can I not do with you, Israel, as the potter does, declares the Lord. That's Jesus. Like clay in the hand of the potter, so are you in my hand, Israel. Yo, Big Steve, those are some cool words, man. But what do they mean? Well, man, it's super easy. You see, all those people way back that built the Sphinx, they had to get the idea from somewhere. They had to get the energy from somewhere, the strength from somewhere. And that somewhere is really a some who. It's God. God gave them the strength. God gave them the creativity. God gave them the energy. And God is like the potter. We are like the clay. Anything God wants to accomplish, he can use you. He can use me to do it. And he gives you the ideas. He gives you the strength. All you have to do is ask him and be open to be the clay in his hands. Oh, wow, Big Steve. That is kind of cool. Yeah, it is, man. And don't ever put yourself down like that because if God ever wants to do something really, 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 really cool through you, God can. And when you talk down on yourself, you're really limiting what God can do. So don't do it, buddy. Just do awesome stuff and do it for God. Man, Big Steve, that is so cool. So you mean that like, even though I don't always feel like I'm the brightest or the strongest, or the fastest at doing things, God can still use me to do mighty things despite my flaws. Noah, that is so true. But you know what's also true? That it's time for the big idea. Man, what's up? It's me, Big Steve. It's time for the big idea. Noah is at the Sphinx. You are here with me for the big idea. And today's big idea is God created us. Man, it's so exciting because God has so much creativity and he wants you to be so awesome and that's how he created you. So let's say it together on the count of three. Say one, two, three. God created us. 
That's so great. I mean, that's all the time we have for today. Bye-bye.